for me, I feel like each of the characters, in a way, represents a different aspect of humanity. And, you know, she's Faith, Elizabeth is Faith, and then maybe Meredith is a little bit of control and the unhealthy aspects of control. But your character seems like pure, undiluted instinct. He just acts before he thinks. And you called him, what is it, the X Games scientist? <laughs> yeah, I think I did once. Yeah. <laughs> so who is Charlie to you? Well, Charlie is science and fact, you know. In the team that is Holloway and Shaw, it, they carry two elements of humanity, which I think are incredibly powerful, which is faith and fact. And so we're sending those two elements out into, essentially, the universe as examples of, of humanity, which I, I actually don't think you could get two better words to embody humanity, which is faith and fact. And, you know, they complement each other, but they also go completely against each other. And one of the best things I think about Prometheus is that there's uh, a third party that gets involved and washes it kind of all away. Yeah. And leaves that question of what's more important to humanity. Going off of that, you are the skeptic, and Elizabeth, which is Nomi's character, is again the believer. But what's cool about it, the film, is that it's kind of indicating that they're two sides of a coin, that they need one another to exist. Did you find that in the story? I, I absolutely found that in the story. Certainly they needed each other to exist as a team, but I, I think, in a way, like hot and cold, there is not one without the other. And while b both are, in a way, inventions or an evolution of understanding in man, in woman, in humanity, we still never know when science will be completely thrown on its back. And so that's one of the great things for me about this movie is, you know, I don't expect people to abandon the religion, and I don't expect people to abandon science, but I do expect people to open their minds to the idea that either could be washed away at an instant and to look towards the skies for our answers and certainly for not necessarily our makers but for something greater than ourselves. Talk to me for a minute from the fanboy perspective because I know that you are a self-professed sci-fi fanboy. So what do you think that Prometheus is fulfilling in the genre? What do you think that Ridley Scott fans are going to love about this movie? What do you think they're going to see that they've never seen before? Well I think they're going to be presented with a question, which is rarely, as Ridley has said, rarely asked, which is where do we come from? And it seems such a basic question to ask within science fiction. But science fiction for me is about realism, is about a fully realized world that's going to make someone familiar with the future that is unknown. So certainly, when you're asking the question, you're actually dealing with the past instead of the future, which we've you know, always put into science fiction. So, in a way, this is a science fiction movie about the past, not the future. Oh yeah, it absolutely is. And now, from another fanboy perspective, just give me an idea of what it was like for you to be on set with Ridley Scott in, it's not the prequel to Alien, but the same DNA, as he said, as Alien. Is there ever a moment for you that you're stepping outside of yourself and kind of looking at the experience from the outside? Absolutely. I mean, you know, for me, that was the juggle, was actor, character, fan. And I needed to make sure I understood each set and my familiarity with each set as, as Charlie Holloway, certainly. And so the use of awe helped Charlie in some of the sets, but in other sets where I wanted him to be very familiar and been there, done that, like the rover. You know, like a spaceship. He's been on a spaceship, he's been in a rover, but he hasn't been to that planet before. So I needed that awe in me to be revealed uh, in a very specific way. So it was easy to hide myself from certain sets and, of course, to acquaint myself with, uh, with others. Thank you so much. We're really looking forward to seeing this on AMC screens. Great, thank Thanks. you.